Alright guys, so here's what I got today. We're going to do a little project. So what I have here is I have a scale, rag, tape, old toothbrush, newspaper, caliper paint, brake cleaner, jack stands, jack, and a tire iron. So what do you think we're doing with all this stuff today? If you guessed playing with the wheels, you'd be right. Uh, what we get going on today is basically I'm going to take the wheels off. The uh, the wheels themselves need a couple more coats of plasti dip to make them really uh, good. Also, the tire place took some of the plasti dip off. Uh, you can't really. There you go. There's a scratch there. A couple little scratches on there. Not a big deal. I knew it would happen, which is why I didn't put like eight layers of plasti dip on to start with. I only put two layers on. See how it looked? It looks great. But now I do need to put a couple more coats on to make it really last. Uh, this one's the worst, but you can't see any of it because it's too dark. So what we're doing today is we're going to take the wheels off, put a couple more layers of paint on those, and we're going to do my calipers red. I haven't decided on the drums yet. I think those are going to stay black. I just blend because I think they look like shit in red. Uh, so we'll keep those black. But the calipers are going to be red. Yeah. Um, that's basically what I'm doing today. Oh, also we're going to take, these are my winter wheels that have the steel rims and the snow tires. We're going to take one of those, weigh it, and compare it to one of my summer wheels with summer tires, and we'll see what the weight difference is. So it should be interesting. And uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to jack the car up, take the wheels off, or the front wheels at least, and uh, I'll get back to you and we'll do some weighing. Alright, if you notice a uh, difference in video quality with this clip, it's because I just switched from um, the super high quality to just regular high quality video because super high quality, I can only film like 10 minutes on my memory card. So, we got the, uh, this is one of the Steelys, I'm just going to leave the, uh, leave the bag on, I don't need to take it off. So we're going to set that, and we'll put that on. This is a steel wheel with a winter tire, and I'm reading 35.2 pounds. Okay. So, my winter wheel is 35.2 pounds. Well, let's see how much these weigh. Feels about the same, if not heavier, because it's a bigger wheel. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right. 43. Woo. So, these are quite a bit heavier. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some paint. Alright guys, this is what I'm doing right now. I have three lugs out. This one's pretty much, you know, it's loose. And... Put the camera down so you can just see. Hope you can see this. This is me using all of my strength here. Oh. There we go. Um, so I don't know if they if they cross threaded it. Looks like they did. Oh, let's take it off. Look at the stud. Holy shit, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, they cross-threaded it. Those fucking idiots. Look at this shit. I hope not, I hope every wheel isn't like this, because if it is, I swear to God, I'm going to kill someone. Okay. So, I don't know if you can even see this here. Um, you probably can't because of the camera quality, but there are metal shavings in here. It looks like they really forced the lugs on this, on these uh, studs here. This is like the worst I've ever seen. Like I don't even know how you do this. This is ridiculous. This is a place that just does tires. This is all they do is tire stuff. And they like are completely fucking up my studs. And if the other wheel is like this, I swear to God, someone's getting hurt. This is really weird. I'm still gonna paint this shit and get it done, but um, it is just unacceptable in my opinion. You know, this is a straight-up tire place. This isn't some gas station that puts on tires for you. 
And if this is the kind of shit they do, I'm not going back. Like, this is one of the nuts I just pulled off, one of the lugs. It's just, oh, it sucks. Oh my god, yeah. You can look at the inside of the, well, you can't look at the, I can look at the inside of the wheel. And it's like, dug out. Because my lugs have, you know, they're angled at the top. I don't know if you can see. See that line halfway down right where my fingernail is, right there? That's basically how far they dug them into the wheels. Seriously, these are they're not brand new. They're new to me. They already look like shit. Fuck. I'm just pissed now. Alright, so pretty much all I'm doing for prep on this wheel is I took a rag, just wiped off the dust. Um, I'm not going to actually wash them or anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, index cards and we're going to put them around the wheel. Put this in the wheel so you can kind of see. Shim them in there. Now mine can't go in very far. Ugh. But... And the point of this is to protect the tires from overspray. So now I'm all masked off, basically. It looks kind of cool. Uh, and I'm going to take my plastic dip so I can find the open can right here. And we'll get another couple coats on there. Test spray first, always. Okay. And. I'm not even going to bother taking off the caps. I took off the center caps. Not going to bother taking off these though, because I don't need to worry about it. Okay, so, just going to... So, basically it looks like I covered up all the scratches they left. Got a pretty decent leaf thick coat on there. So now I'm just going to let that dry for a while. I don't want to go too thick because if I go too thick it's going to be impossible to get the shit off. So that is still drying. So it does look better with that with more plastic. All right, I'm going to put a little bit more. I really want more especially on just the outside edges. And I really have to be careful because I only have, that's a full can. This is probably, I probably got about a third of the can left in this one. But that needs to go for four wheels, so, you know, I gotta be careful. And I don't want, I have to avoid using thick coats. That's hard for me. Alright, so here we got my, uh, my rotors. And I've got brake parts cleaner. Um, can use wax and grease remover, but this helps remove the brake dust a little better. And my brakes have been a little squeaky lately, so. Got a little bucket here. Got some oily niceness. This is basically what I use whenever I don't want fluids going out to my garage floor and leaving stains in the concrete. So, put the camera up on here. Make sure you guys can see everything I'm doing. Um, you want to make sure you use brake parts cleaner because it dries fast so it won't, you know, stay on there and light on fire. That'd be bad. I can get the damn straw out. Okay. So, of course, you get the little straw you put in so you can direct to the uh, fluid. Um, now, I haven't used this brand before. I usually use the, um, the CRC stuff. So, let's just try this. Well, this sprays a little more violently than anything I've used before, I have to say. Main thing with this is I gotta be careful not to use too much, because this does have to last me for all four wheels. You can see it's a little bit cleaner now, and um, that'll dry pretty quickly. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to mask up my wheel, or my wheel well. 
so we can start doing the brake caliper paint. Okay, so this is all done dripping. You see all that nastiness in there. Um, and I've used that several times, so that's not all from one wheel. That's several. I've cleaned them, I think, three times in that way. Yeah, this is gross. All right. So, we're going to tape that off and uh, get right to it. Gotta make sure I don't run out of the video time. I don't want this to be too, too long, so. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm taking this plastic bag here. We're gonna use that, because it's gonna cover like 90% of what I need to tape off here. Gotta be careful, set that right there. Uh, that's still a little shitty, but. Um, So basically, that's what I need to cover. Um, you pull on it a little bit, you can get it to actually kind of go underneath the end of the caliper. I'll show you here. So I've just pulled on it and pushed it down a bit. So that's covered most of what I need to cover. Uh, I'm also going to tape off around all this stuff because I don't want red paint all over it. And then I'll tape up the inside of the wheel well. But for that, I need tape, which I didn't bring over here, so I gotta go get it. And you know how to tape stuff off, so I'll just get back to you uh, after I've done that. Alright, so, get it all taped off here. Uh, I did not tape that side because I'm only going to be spraying really this way, this way, a little bit this way. Uh, I'm not worried about that side. <coughs> Maybe I should be. We'll find out. Um, if I can get the cap off this paint, Jesus, there we go. Ooh, it's a directional spray. I like those. Oh, it's because it's duplicolor. Uh, this is duplicolor caliper paint. Make sure you use caliper paint. Don't use cheap paint because it won't stay on. Um, this is 500 degree resistant, you know. It's just good shit. Make sure you read the directions. Um, these say... First service by removing blah, 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 stuff, stuff, stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Mask off surrounding areas. Uh, lightly scuff. I'm not going to lightly scuff. We're just going to go straight up and see what happens. Shake can vigorously for one full minute after mixing ball moves freely. Shake can for 10 seconds after each minute of use. 8 to 10 inches from surface. So, start shaking. Alright, the moment of truth. So, just gonna spray this up and uh, we'll see what happens. Actually, I'll put the camera down so I can better do this. Better do this. Okay, let's go. Ooh, that's bright. Of course, like anything, light coats are preferable. Whenever you do painting, do light coats. So, yeah, that's one caliper. Half half done, really. Um, so, but yeah, so that's how you uh, pretty much do all that, get all it done. So, I'm going to stop the camera now. You've seen me doing one wheel, you've seen me doing a caliper. And uh, I'll just get back to you when it's all dry and done because you really don't need to see the rest of the process. And this video is already way too long. So that's it for today, and uh, thanks for watching, and see you later. There we go. There's one. There's two. And it's on. Oh. I can't hand thread these on anymore. So what I have to do is I have to actually put them in the tire iron and then put it on the stud and then try to get them on. So, there she is.
nice and red, red and black. So, there you go. All right, so here you go. My nice red brake calipers. All done. Looking pretty good. I'll give you a lighter shot of the car. Uh, it's kind of bright out here, so it's hard to see. Not very good for photography. But, this side's uh, brighter. <laughs> the sun's on this side, so. There you have it. And they are done. I didn't do the rears, just did the front. Bye, bro. And I'll see you later. Red. Also, this is plus 25 kilowatts, according to Mighty Car Mods, which is 33.3 something horsepower. So, I just got 33 extra horsepower. If you believe that I believe that, you're stupid. See you later.